The Facebook Fishbowl Method for Restaurants. How to get new customers at a profit. The idea here is to show you how to make money for your business by giving away things for free. Now here is a simple example. The best way to do it in my opinion is a draw. So for example, depending on the type of restaurant you have, this would dictate how often the draw would be. If you had a fancy restaurant where people only went out on special occasions, then you could have it monthly or even quarterly. If you had a restaurant that was casual dining that people went to more like once a month or even once a week, that I would have the draw once a week or once a month. And if you had a quick serve restaurant where people for sure went every week, then I would have a draw every week. Now before you panic, the idea here is not to give away free stuff. The idea here is to build a list of customers and prospects for your restaurant so you can market it to them over and over again quickly and directly through the channels that you control. Now what the heck is a channel that you control? Well, your Facebook page, your website, your YouTube channel, your email list. These are the essential channels that you control. Now if you don't have any of these yet, don't worry, that can come later. It's important that you get the idea first. If you don't believe in this view, it's not going to make a difference to have any of these channels. So the idea is straightforward. Now what I'm going to do is use real examples that I used in my restaurant so that they make sense to you. Now maybe one of my most fun promotions was when I gave away free dinner for a year. So here is what I did. First, I booked two commercials a day on a local radio station, Monday to Friday, so let's say that was 10 commercials. The contest was win dinner for a year. Now to be clear, it wasn't dinner every day, it was once a month, and it was a $100 gift card, so you and a friend for sure can come in and have a nice meal, right? So you and Frankie, or whoever it happens to be. Now this is a good tip here, don't cheap out on the prizes. Like I said, I did dinner for a year. If you're going to give something away, make it something that people would want. Think about the lottery, right? Is there more people buying tickets when it's $1 million or when it's $25 million? It's the same way for your business, so don't te cheap out on the prizes. The prize's only job is to get people to sign up to win. The magic doesn't start for your business until you give away the prize, and here's what I did and what I recommend you do. I pulled a winner, went down to the local radio station, took a picture with the winner and the local host of the radio show. Then I embedded that picture into an email and sent it out to the whole list of entrants. The email said, hey, good news, bad news. The bad news is you did not win the grand prize. It went to, you know, someone Susie Smith in the picture above or what have you. Now the good news is, is you have won a runner-up prize, which in your case is a free meal at the restaurant. Now the question you might be asking yourself in your head is, why in the heck would I do that and give away 598 free meals? That's how many people entered the contest plus one winner. The answer is that 99% of these people are not going out for dinner by themselves. Now the other thing that's really important is that this is not a coupon. It is a runner-up prize. That changes the psychology of what it is. So it's not something that they can cut out of a newspaper and get that way. They actually had to do something to get something. This is a crucial idea that most people miss. If you put a coupon in the newspaper and the newspaper prints 100,000 copies, well, is there anything special about that coupon? I know everybody's getting it, right? The key to this strategy is that no one knows how many people entered the contest. They only know that they entered the draw and a runner-up prize arrived directly into their email box and called them a runner-up. So what were the results of this crazy strategy? So I gave away 12 $100 gift cards away over the course of 12 months and then further gave away 598 runner-up meals. Well let's do the math first. It costs I did 20 ads on the radio and it cost $65 per ad which totaled out to $1300. Then you add in the 12 $100 gift cards which you know if you're a restaurant person uh, your cost was probably $70 right out of the 100. I'd say now it's $840 for that total so now it's the $1300 right for the commercials plus $840 for the prize. And I can tell you that 262 people out of the 598 came in to collect their runner up right which we topped out at $25 for that free entree. 
Now, when you multiply all that out, the free meals that we gave away, the retail value is $6,550. Now, if you're in the restaurant business you're not run and you're not running a 30% food cost, you and I have other issues that maybe we need to talk about. But in this case, we were running under 30%, but I'm just gonna use 30% or 33% here and say our actual cost of all the meals we gave away was more like $2,220. So does that make sense so far? So the total is $1,300 for the ads to run the contest on the radio. $840 is the true cost of giving away the 12 gift cards. And then 2,200 and so, which equals $4,360 to give away is what I did for this contest and draw. But now let's do the critical part of the promotion and the math is that the average ticket in the restaurant of the people who brought in their free meal runner-up prize had an $85 bill after we subtracted off the $25 prize amount. So if you take that $85 of an average ticket and multiply that by the 262 people who redeemed, you get a total of 20,270 of sales, right? Real sales. Now subtract off the 4,360 that it cost to make that money and we're left with a total of $17,190. Now here's the question, when I started talking about this method of giving away things for free and making money, did you envision making $17,000 plus on a promotion? This is the power of running a draw in a restaurant and making everyone a runner-up. It turns the idea of running coupons in a two-for-one totally around and it puts you in a position of power because you just acquired 262 customers plus at least one friend, right, for a total of 524 customers at a considerable profit. Now imagine you did a good enough job when the people ate at your restaurant after they got this runner-up prize and came back to you again and again to eat in your restaurant. Now you're just adding to the profitability of the promotion you just ran. Now keep in mind for this example I did this on the radio before Facebook was really a thing. Now instead of having to pay 1300 bucks up front for radio spots you can invest a hundred dollars a week on Facebook and create these new sales and new customers and cash with this strategy. Now you might be saying, hold on man, I don't run that type of restaurant. I can't do that sort of promotion. Well, let's say you run a pizza joint, takeout only. Here's what you can do. First off, there's lots of people that eat pizza once a week. So in your case, you could have a draw once a week. So let's say for your weekly prize draw, you gave out a large pizza, a salad, and two liters of pop. All of which was worth about 30 bucks if you were to purchase it regularly. A post and an ad would run on Facebook asking people to enter the draw. Everyone who entered would have a chance to win each week. Keeping them on the list will incentivize people to stay on your contact list looking for their chance that they maybe have won. Now once per week what would happen is an email would go out naming the winner then later a, a picture maybe if you post on Facebook so people could know that there was an actual winner. Then everyone else who entered that week would get out uh, would get a, a runner-up email for some kind of bonus or giveaway with purchase. So for example, a second small pizza for free if they ordered a large pizza, salad, and two liter pop. So maybe you're thinking, hey, small pizza, I'm not sure about that. Well, it could be perhaps an order of cheese toast or just turn your pizza crust into garlic sticks or whatever. It doesn't really matter what you give away as the bonus or the runner-up prize in this case. It's just something that would maybe retail for five or six bucks and then not cost you much more than two, three uh, bucks. And then they would get that item as their runner-up prize if they order within the next 21 to 30 days. Now what's gonna happen here is anybody who entered this draw is of course the type of person who eats pizza. And they're already uh, ordering uh, pizza from somebody else. So now with this runner-up prize, they're motivated to order it from you. This allows you to build up a list of customers and prospects who are now paying you to enjoy your product. So let's do some simple math. So let's say in one week, 100 people enter the draw. You pull one winner and now you have 99 runner-ups. Let's say you don't do as well as I did on my draw. Let's say you only have 25 people. So one out of four takes you up on the runner-up offer. First, you're giving away the retail prize value around 30 bucks. 
your cost should no way be higher than, you know, including your labor and delivery or whatever, shouldn't be more than 15 bucks, probably more like 10 bucks. Now, 25 people claim the runner-up prize. This is going to cost you either two or three dollars for the small pizza or cheese bread or dessert pizza or whatever else you decide to give away. So multiply that 25 runner-ups, right? Add it to the prize giveaway value of the $15, right? It cost you or 10 or $15 to give away the grand prize, right? The, the uh, pizza, um, salad and drink, right? And so now you have a total of around $85, right? So let's take that 25 and multiply it by the $30 that they would have to spend to qualify for the runner-up prize. So that total is $750 in sales. So you subtract the $85, so that's the $15 to give away the weekly grand prize, and then 25 people times $2, uh, or th we're gonna call it $3 each in real cost. So right, that's a grand total of about $85, right? But now these runner-ups are having to spend $30, right, to get the runner-up prize. So that's the uh, 25 people spending $30, subtract off the 85, and now you make $635 in extra sales in that one week promotion. And you're simply giving away stuff for free. And you're well on your way as now you have a list of 100 people to advertise new specials, new pizzas, new menu items, daily deals or anything else you might do. Now this example is just with 100 people, imagine if 200 people or 300 people or 400 people enter the contest each week. Then you just multiply the amount you make. Remember, you're only giving away one grand prize. Now the other thing people ask me is that they don't want to give up runner-up prizes to the same people every week. I agree. What you want to do is give people a, a limited time offer and actually make it limited. So unlike a car dealership who seems to be having the best day of all time every weekend, this runner-up prize that you're doing here goes to them one time and if they don't use it, they lose it. So they can't keep on redeeming runner-up prizes every week. The simple idea here is to attract first-timers at a profit. The goal now is to turn those people into regulars. I have a different program for that, but if you need a sales jolt and you sell goods and services to local customers, this is absolutely the best way I've ever seen to do it. Shoot me an email at info at Freedom Marketing Coach and we can help you with this strategy.